so in this update video guys we're going to go over quite a few new gotham updates including the ending of gotham now with people filming their last scenes together and also some really cool new gotham promos that they've released uh just hinting at some more scarecrow stuff and other no man's land footage let's dive straight into this <laughs> How's it going Gothamites? Welcome to a brand new Gotham news update video. Uh, a lot of you guys have been asking me to post another Gotham video, but there hasn't been so much to talk about. Some of you guys wanted me to talk about the promo stuff, which I will go over in this video in a little bit, but still, that's not enough to hold its own video. So trust that I will be posting Gotham content when there's stuff to talk about. Uh, but stick around towards the end of this video because I will be asking you guys a question in relation to maybe some Q&A videos, as well as another video that will definitely require your input but of course guys if you want to stay more up to date with gotham season 5 content just like this be sure to subscribe to the channel and if you go on to enjoy this video why not like it as it really does show your support for the channel and helps it get out there just a little bit more so first of all i want to talk about this picture or should i say instagram post from i believe david mazuz and he was just talking about that i think he's filmed his last episode with sean pertwee now obviously production is all ending now like people are uh filming their last scenes with certain people obviously this is a sad time because the show is really 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 ending now i mean i think they just had their final table read recently but yeah our bruce wayne darby mizuz will no longer be acting alongside sean pertwee's alfred unless they act alongside each other in another tv show but y you never know but i'm sure you've seen other posts uh from other actors or you know cast and crew of gotham saying similar things uh because it really is all coming to a close now now talking about the final table read you may have actually found out that erin richards if you didn't know <laughs> who plays barbara uh, is actually directing the 100th episode of gotham and it's called the trial of jim gordon now that is definitely got me intrigued uh but the interesting thing is that it says episode 12 here now a lot of people are thinking that this is the finale i truly don't believe that it is i think it's just the last episode to be filmed or like you know table read and, and everything like that but the last finale finale episode i still believe would make most sense to push the time jump episode which should you know conclude gotham's story well into the future with our characters knowing where they're going to be at what it's going to be like in this canonical version of this future but episode 12 written by ben mckenzie by the way he's been doing quite well in gotham directing and writing uh will be directed by erin richards and i just wanted to let you guys know i don't believe that is going to be the finale finale episode uh we still have yet to fully find out if these are going to be you know pushed back or shuffled in between a couple of episodes beforehand to give the show a little bit more context in terms of their stories uh, rather than you know multiple time jump episodes i just don't think that's a possibility because the stuff that you know they're rumored to do uh, in the final episode since john stevens did say that they're keeping the original cast you know they're gonna have to age him up and do everything like that plus you know since we're probably getting the bat suit towards the very end of uh you know gotham season five's time jump i doubt they're gonna extend or even allowed to show batman you know for like another two episodes so that's why i think that this is just you know another context episode or just more filler to help spread out the season because obviously we're only getting 12 episodes rather than a full series order but talking about the usage of batman and everything like that i'm not saying that batman won't be consistently used throughout the time jump episode uh, because a lot of you guys have been asking me to go over these images as well of penguin and riddler tied up and it looks like you know kind of rope from a grapple hook or something like that something maybe good old bats will use and i'm sure some of you have seen the video i'm not going to show the video here but essentially future oswald and future riddler jump out of like a gcbd transport transport van i think they get into a car and just like get away even further they might not I, my memory's a bit foggy but essentially they turn around i remember this part and it's just hilarious because i love oswald screaming and you know I, I don't know penguin's just hilarious robin lord taylor's penguin scream it just always cracks me up and ed is screaming and it looks like they're looking up at something closing down and engulfing them uh and you can safely assume that that is probably batman so what i'm predicting in the time jump episode is that we won't get like a full suit reveal until not necessarily the last scene but like the end of the episode towards the very end of the episode similar to smallville hopefully we'll get a bit more than that but throughout the episode that doesn't mean we won't still see an obscure batman in that suit but it might just be very quick it might be in scenes just shot like the one i'm talking about uh, where you don't get a full look 
at David Mizuse's Batman or, you know, the stunt double Batman, whatever, uh, in that new suit. I think we're essentially just going to see scenes of him doing Batman stuff in the future with our future villains that we've seen in the past four years of the show. We might see a flap of a cape. We might see a silhouette of him standing up on a gargoyle or something like that, but they won't be greatly lit shots. And then as I discussed earlier, talking back about the bat suit, we will then see like the actual full featured suit, not for the first time, because as I said, we'll see it throughout the episode, but obscurely potentially uh, and then at the end we'll actually get a full feature proper look at it which would be really cool uh, but we'll still get Bruce throughout the episode obviously I'm guessing in like turtleneck mode I would love to know what you guys think of that theory of mine because I think I do remember John Stevens saying at the New York Comic Con that they're going to show it towards the end of the episode but with as I said this penguin and Riddler scream looking like something's going after them and then they're tied up on what like a lamppost or something I still think we're going to see Batman throughout just not fully visible like as if you had a freaking softbox light in front of him like uh, is on me right now now next up in the gotham season 5 news is a new gotham season 5 promotional photo now each season i think you'll remember seeing something familiar like this each and every year of gotham and now this is apparently the season 5 photo now obviously you can tell that jim gordon's wearing his future-esque jim gordon trench coat i mean obviously he's minus the glasses and everything like that uh the same z Bruce trench coat that he'll be wearing throughout the season. We'll obviously see him in like motorcycle pants and like a jacket, but he'll actually be wearing this trench coat like up until like the Bane confrontation towards the end of the season. Uh, don't expect Batman body armor or anything like that beyond like a freaking bulletproof vest on top of this trench coat. Oswald's hair is interesting. It's like back up again and we've got those glasses we see him uh, wearing actually in one of the trailers. Uh, no Lee, interestingly. I mean, Lee will be in this season, but maybe she's not as a prominent role as maybe what some people thought she might be. They've only got so many episodes, obviously. So I, I'm guessing she's not going to be as forefront as these pivotal characters that you're seeing. Like obviously Jim Gordon, Bruce, uh, you know, Penguin, Riddler, etc. Lucius Fox is on there as well and I do remember that he will be quite more prominent this season because after all Bruce stepping close to Batman he will need his guy Lucius to help out with quite a few things I'm really dying I can't wait for the time jump scene or where we might see some Lucius Fox discussion between Batman or Bruce talking about the suit the equipment the Batmobile who knows like what they're going to do with that I just can't wait for that kind of stuff this season. Really excited for Lucius Fox scenes like that. He definitely deserves it. I mean, he's been in this show for a while. He's had the occasional Batman, you know, armor moment, like, you know, oh, Kevlar weaved, blah, blah, blah. But he need he needs more of that. Next in the news is that Cameron Beacondover uh, posted a picture of a new Selena getup featuring what she will look like at some point in season five. Now, I do believe that this photo is probably from a, like a photo library and could be quite old. Definitely don't think that this is the final look for Catwoman or anything like that. Uh, so I'm just going to assume that this is just one of her looks in season five and she might have some permission to just post this on the internet now since it's only kind of around the corner in January. Next up in the news is a couple of new Gotham promos that I mentioned right at the beginning of this video. So I'm going to play them both for you in a row right now and then we'll discuss them. So roll the cool new little promos. The shadow moved. <laughs> it's just a shadow, man. No. Something's out there. First promo is showing Scarecrow. Now, I think you guys know how much I love that Scarecrow look. They teased right at the end of season four. Looking forward to Scarecrow this season. Obviously, I'm looking forward to all of the villains in their own sections, like Zaz, Freeze, Firefly, Scarecrow. There's everyone like penguin uh but you know scarecrow is amazing their costume department has done an amazing job on that design bringing like the pointy hat to fruition which beforehand you know just from cartoons or the comics i would have thought well, could they really do that in a cool way that's intimidating but they have done that other than that i honestly don't have too much to say about this i like how these promos are like showing the different days in no man's land like day 87 or something like that but essentially Scarecrow here, what is he all about? Spreading fear. So that is what he's doing, putting this guy up on a freaking cross. Uh, so I can't wait to see what's happening because in the other promo, there's a couple of theories because you see the GCPD officer looking out at something
something down the road. Uh, and then the other guy's taking the piss out of him, saying nothing's there. And now, at first of all, I thought, oh, is this just going to be like a foreshadowing of Bruce as Batman? It's going to be Bruce. Because it does clearly look like a shadow going across. And if you think about Batman enough, your mind might start playing tricks on you. You might see a little two-pointy ears or something like that. So then I thought, okay, so what if it's Man Bat? Because they very blatantly teased him at the end of last season. But and then there are some images, I believe, of Scarecrow in a similar location. So it could just still be Scarecrow. Uh, Scarecrow could just be trying to, well, put fear into the GCPD officers, especially the one who's like, something's out there, what's going on? Could just be Scarecrow playing a couple of tricks, uh, trying to freak him out. It could be another villain, obviously, as I said, Man Bat, that would be pretty cool with the shadow over golfing like that. Uh, a Bruce foreshadowing, I think, is very unlikely because it, it'd be cool, but it just wouldn't make much sense. So I'd say give this to either Scarecrow or Man Bat, but I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments down below. Other than that, guys, I just want to clarify about my last video. Quite a few people were getting uh, confused about, you know, they still can't use the Joker in Gotham. Now, I'm not saying, and I did say this in the video, but I guess some people just see a title and react to that before watching the video but I never said that the Joker isn't coming to Gotham I said that I've heard that they still can't use the Joker name uh, now that's technically not surprising I do definitely believe we're getting a lot more leeway this season and we will I mean the show's ending I mean give the dog a bone right so they're gonna get some more stuff to play with I mean you can clearly see that with Jeremiah and how jokery he looks this season but in terms of the Joker name, hopefully if and when the new Joker is introduced, they'll just do it in a way that, you know, Jerome was like in Arkham with Penguin and he threw that Joker card and it like hit Penguin. I can't even remember what happened to that card. But do you know what I mean? I remember everyone freaked out at that moment. And if they do that or use that similar kind of calling card scene with said Joker person in, you know, whatever episode uh, this season, then... I think that would be fairly obvious and indicating that this guy is going to be the Joker in Gotham's future without saying the name. Now, would I like them to say the name? I would love that, personally. But of course, I understand from all of the BS behind the scenes, diluting the brand and blah, 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 blah. They still might not want to use that. But aside from that, guys, that is everything I want to talk about in terms of news this video. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below uh, with everything I discussed. Other than that, in terms of what I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I might be doing another Q&A soon. Uh, so look out on my community tab uh, for like a Q&A post where you can post all of your questions in terms of that. But I also might be making a video uh, for five things that I want to see done in Gotham or something like that. So I would love to know what your top five wants or things that you really want to see come to fruition or just the way things should be done in your eyes in Gotham Season 5, if that makes sense. So yeah, bottom line. What do you want to see in Gotham Season 5 and what are you hoping for the most? Top 5. Let me know and then I'll be uh, maybe reading a few of them out. I'll be reading my own out and this will be like its whole own video where I just discuss what I'm hoping will actually be the case and then maybe we can revisit it after Gotham's done. But other than that guys, like this video if you did enjoy, subscribe down in the button below if you want to stay up to date with all Gotham things uh, on this channel and check out some of my other videos as well in the outro of this video. Links as always are down in the description below to my social media or to my Discord server if you didn't already know that I had one. Other places to support me further like Patreon and you know like my merch shop and stuff like that but thank you so much for watching Gothamites. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.